here in place of paradise. Isn't it a gorgeous place? We are very, very lucky. We have to always count our blessings, how lucky we are. Praise are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has blessed us with life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this day of our joy. One of my friends asked me, why is a bar mitzvah so important to me? A bar mitzvah is a Jewish tradition from reading out of a holy scroll called the Torah. And this tradition is passed on from a generation to the next one. After reading from the Torah, you are seen as an adult towards the Jewish religion. Today, I would like to do the same and continue this tradition for my family. The translation of this uh, blessing on page 7 is on the bottom of the page. And uh, a wonderful composer, Debbie Friedman, wrote a beautiful melody that I'd like to sing it for you. And if you know, you can join me. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command you on this day shall be in thy heart, shall be in thy heart. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And thou shalt speak of them in thy house when thou walkest by the way. Up, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be for frontless between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them on the doorpost of thy house, and upon thy gates, and upon thy gates. And do all of my commandments and be holy unto thy God, unto thy God, unto thy God. These are precious moments for families to get together and celebrate joyous occasions like. A bar mitzvah. Today I stand as a generation, forming a bridge between past and future, between the history that was made for me and the history that I will make. Before me stood men and women who saw to it that I would receive a precious heritage. Now I take on the honor and responsibility of carrying it forward. <laughs> communicated with God. He was 500 years old and had a wife and three sons named Shem, Ham, and Yafet, and all of his sons had wives. God told him that Noah and his family were the uncorrupted creatures left on earth. He told him to build an ark made out of wood and to bring along every pair of living creatures in his ark. Noah did so, and after departing in his ark, God flooded the, the whole world, making nonstop rain for 40 days. When Noah was about 600 years old, and when the earth dried up, he and his family and all the animals in the ark came out. God blessed him and his sons, and told him to repopulate the world, and make it become as great as it was a long time ago. After the event, God told Noah, every time after it rains, there will always be a rainbow to remind Noah that God is always watching. Before the world was flooded, there was chaos everywhere. This reminds me of the world today, how people such as ISIL or ISIS are executing foreigners. This is a terrible and intolerable act, an act that should never happen under the eyes of God and humans. Just in the last year ago, the creator of the universe gifted us with Anthony. Years after years, we have watched him grow 
to this fine young man that he has become. He has been around the world over, and everywhere we go, people tell me, or tell us, how mature, handsome, and well-behaved he is. We're very proud of him on every level. Anthony, don't waste living someone else's life. We always feel like we are immortal. Remember what makes life valuable as it does not last forever. What makes it precious is what matters at the end. Make it count for something. Fight for what matters to you, no matter the, what the cause is. And even if you fall short, what better way to live? Don't just follow the path. Make your own trail. Live without regret. And know you did your best. When you think about it, life is just one big test. Set yourself free and move beyond the pain. Life is too short to stand in the rain. Last but not least, remember who you are. Conform to no one and shine like a star. I'm very happy that I, I didn't regret because Anthony is doing a wonderful job and I'm very happy that I made that decision that day to be a Jewish. And I uh, very appreciate for uh, Laurent's family and then my family coming. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to cry. <laughs> so anyhow, no matter what, who has the money, no matter, who, no matter what, people has no money, just follow your heart. And I hope you're going to grow just like you did for 13 years. And I'm very, very, very proud of you. Thank you so much. Khalil Gibran wrote poetry, and in one of his po poems, he refers to our offsprings as an arrow, that we are the archers that hold the bow, and the arrow is our offspring that we pray and hope when we shoot it, that it will fly to greater heights and greater distances than we ever flew. That also shows that what he thought, Khalil Gibran, that we are not the owners of our children. We are their custodians. We bring them to life with love. We raise them, we cry with them, we laugh with them. And then they go their way like that arrow. And they have greater achievements than us, we always hope. You see, though they have their own DNA, some of it derived from us, from our, our, the parents but they have their own wisdom. And they have wisdom that sometimes I think comes from previous generations. Sometimes I, I believe that the baby, when it's born, it has a, the soul of previous ancestors of his. So, our life is everlasting. And we have to make the most of our lives, always. Make to do the best, do try to achieve, and I don't think with, with, that you'll have any problem achieving anything. The sky is the limit. So I really bless you very much. On this Shabbat, the first day of the Hebrew month, Hashanah Cheshvan 5775 from creation. Anthony Isaac Hayat has been called to the Torah as a Bar Mitzvah in the Parashat Noah, the portion that he wrote from Noah, and is hereby welcomed as a responsible member of the adult Jewish community. Mazel Tov. You frame it and hang it in a proud place in your home. I'd like to thank you very much for being so patient and so well behaved. And uh, I hope it gave you some new thoughts to think about, about life and how to live and be joy, uh, joyful, have tears of joy always. 
Don't ever forget to say I love you to your loved ones because you never know what the next day brings. I am really humbled to be with you here. Thank you for having me, the Hyatt family. Oh, we are one down, one down. <laughs>